Well, good evening, St. John's. I got a great email from Kathy Allen the other day that I want to share with you. She says, about a year ago when I was going through a particularly difficult situation in my life, I found it hard to go to sleep. I couldn't turn off the turmoil scrambling around my brain. Then one day I decided that giving that space to a more positive subject matter was less toxic, nonetheless difficult, but worth the effort. I began a pattern that I use to this day. When my head is settled on my pillow, I begin with a personal prayer, the same each night. I am an, after all, an Episcopalian. Then I begin my gratitude list, just for that day, not long term, not for the future. It ranges from the silly to the serious, depending on the day. Thank you for the fabulous parking spot at Costco today. I'm grateful for the gorgeous flowers in our yard and the lettuce I picked today. I'm grateful for a loving, supportive sister and at our conversation today that was full of laughter. I'm grateful for the patience to listen to John mention again that he needs a haircut, although I keep telling him he's beginning to look like Andre Bocelli. I'm glad that, grateful that my family and dear friends are well, healthy today. I was grateful to listen to Compline tonight. I seldom am able to finish my list as I'm peacefully asleep. And I really appreciate what she has to say for a few reasons. First of all, it's practical. Based on my conversations with many of you, I think about half the St. John's has insomnia on any given night. And uh, just to have practical advice on how to fall asleep is always good news for us. Uh, two, what Kathy has discovered is what all the practitioners of happiness have discovered. All the people who seek wisdom have recognized that the fostering gratitude is essential for a good life. But the third thing that I really appreciate about that is the freedom to just show gratitude for such basic little things, a parking place at Costco. You know, if your religion is based on God always giving you good parking places at Costco, you've got a shabby religion. But if your religion is such that you're grateful at the end of, night of the day for every little thing, such as a parking space, it just makes you realize how full of goodness this life is. And to, appreciate, and to express gratitude and for God to be the source of all such things. It does make for a healthy and an honest life. You don't need to be too religious. You don't need to have, say, be grateful for atonement and forgiveness of sins and for some extreme prayer answer. Those are all great. But the little things that happen are so many, and when we pause to recognize them, it just changes who we are. And honestly, I think we become more like God because I think God is filled with gratitude for every glory of this creation that's happening a billion times a day. So let's pray. The Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Good night, Kid Carver. <laughs>